Hello YouTubers, Joe and Paul here of Joe and Paul. Now today I have another story. It's it's well, it's an account more than a story. You know, four or five years from now it will become a story, but right now it's an account. And uh, uh, today I was funeralizing in the sense that I was. Uh, Paul just got up from a nap. He's expecting a Skype from his nephew here later this evening, and he wanted to be ready for it. And that's good. Hell, I mean, I, I want to hear, I want to hear it too. And uh, in any case, uh, uh, today I was funeralizing, or, or more properly, uh, well. It wasn't a funeral because a funeral is, is, a, is a religious service held when the body or the part of the body that remains is present in the church. Included ashes. Well, ashes, you know, a coffin. Um, I suppose if you have one of these, you know, saints relics where you've got, you know, a hand going, you know, that's been chopped off somewhere. But, you know. It's got a body part that is identifiable as, you know, contiguous with the then live body uh, somewhere in the church. And uh, you know, I, I loathe the phrase memorial service, uh, but I suppose we have to sort of allow that today. In any case, I'll call it a funeral. In any case, we use the burial office. Unfortunately, we use the burial office right to rather than right one. Um, you know, right two says, I am resurrection and life, rather than I am the resurrection and life, which, of course, has been, well, actually, it was from the 1549 prayer book on, uh, and remains in the 1662 prayer book, the burial office service. Well, that's neither here nor there, because here's the real story. Now, Charles asked me to be, our rector, Charles, asked me to be, well, he didn't really ask. You know, he's so passive-aggressive, you don't really know when he's asking you. Anyway, uh, somehow I, I divined that he wanted me to read at this service today, so I said yes. And um, so I was at the Bible group today. I had missed it the f previous three weeks for a variety of reasons. Uh, some political, some business matters, some legal matters. I mean, just a variety of mixed matters. Anyway, so I missed the last three weeks. So I showed up, and it was very nice. You know, people are glad to see me, and I'm glad to see them. I mean, I really like these people. I don't agree with a lot of what they say, but I like these people. And uh, so, uh, services at noon, go over and get dressed up in your white robe and all that stuff uh, at 8.45. And I said, you know, any, any instructions? Because you know, you've got to drag the instructions out of this man. You've just got to drag them out of this man. And... Um, he, he said, uh, well, he actually had he actually had a printed off sheet of the reading. Well, I said, oh, okay. He said, choose a reading. And I said, well, any, any of them, just tell me what you want me to do. I mean, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I mean, that's why I'm there. You know, tell me what you want me to do. Well, well I mean, I know, I know it's, it's, <laughs> it's all standard stuff that he downloads from whatever lectionary site that he, well, I use it too from time to time just to look at, not download, I mean, or to print out. And it would have been nice to have known ahead of time. I could have printed it out myself. There's a thought. No, that's, that, that's never just going to, that's not going to ha ever happen. So um, that would imply too much far ahead thought. Well, that's, that's catty. I don't want to be a cat. I want to be a dog. So a dog is loyal, and so I will say, uh, well, I'll say the truth, but I'll, I'll say it in a dog way. I'll say, 
Well, a dog way, you know, a loyal <laughs> way, you know, a, a dog way. And so um, there was some back and forth. And, you know, we're talking about a 15-minute window here, guys. Now, admittedly, it's not going to be a huge service. You're going to about 20, 20 to 25 people show up. And uh, so I... I'm sorry. You know the trees are in the trees are in full blossom here, and I'm just drowning in snot. <laughs> so, if I have to shut down and go take a pill or something, you'll understand. But anyway, to 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 carry on. So, uh, without without describing each of the personalities involved, uh, this other fellow who is a retired Delaware County, uh, oops, uh, Common Pleas Court judge. Uh, was going to be uh, the reader, and and you know it's like oh he's going to do the first reading, fine. Then you can do the other two readings, fine. Then you do the prayers of the people. Well, maybe not because you know here's this other priest that's there. Maybe she'll do the prayers of the people. Okay, well, all right. Fine. You know everything's very fluid. You know there'll, there'll be all these little eye signals. You know I'm not big on the eye signals, guys. Just. Just tell me what you want to do. Yeah, you know, I'm. It's his show. Just tell me what you want to do. But don't give me these little. No. I mean, I. I've never been big on that. I've never been big on facial expressions either. Just, just tell me. You know, remember that old song in the Sesame Street shows a few years back? Which one? Well, the one that said, "I like." No, that was Mr. Rogers. I, I loathe Mr. Rogers, but this was the only thing I ever heard good come out of this man's mouth. I like to be told. I like to be told. I like to be told. Well, so do I. So tell me. Well, anyway, uh, so eventually what happened is we went up to the lectern and the rector said, you know, look, you know, we don't, we don't need the printout sheet. I've I found the spot. It's all there in the in the big book on the lectionary lectern thing, and indeed it was. You know, you know, uh, Isaiah, Psalm sixty, well, Psalm one nineteen, the portion of one nineteen, and then you know the portion of Second Corinthians and then the Gospel. Well, I don't read the Gospel. You know, I can read the other stuff, but I'm not allowed to read the Gospel because I haven't been ordained. Well, see, that's, that's another problem I have with the Episcopal Church. Every man his own priest, I say, or every woman, if you wish. But, as he and I discussed, you know, given the fact I'm gay and all that, he says, I said to myself, I said to him, where, where else am I going to go? He says, yes, where else are you going to go? I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to go to the Metropolitan Community Church with all that sort of, you know, worshiping of Gaia and all that nonsense. Well, anyway, that's that's a separate issue. You know, I, I can hear the computers clicking off right now. Definitely not the Catholics. Well, fire you. well the Catholic. <laughs> God bless the Roman Catholic Church. You know, my son is a Roman Catholic and he works for them and I... I have the greatest admiration for him, but come on, guys, you know. Anyway, you know, that's another can of worms, isn't it? You know, click, click, click. Oh, wait a minute. They're clicking off all over America. Yeah, all over America. Give me a break. So, uh, the, uh, so, you know, Henry's, you know, Henry's going to read, and that's fine, and you're going to read, and that's fine, and, you know, the book's open in the right place, and everything's fine, so. So uh, the service starts, you know, and I carry the cross, and it's one of the few times I get to carry the cross, and I like to carry the cross, because uh, I get to get, get in this kind of zoned out state when I do that. Well, I do, because it's like the Holy Ghost is moving upon me when I do this. And uh, uh, so, Go in and, you know, start to serve and all this, and it's time for the readings. And then Henry comes up and he looks at the book and it's 
there's this long pause. Well, you know, everybody likes to sort of set stage, set stage, set stage. And, and he turns to me and says, where, where are the readings? And I said, they should be, the book was open to them. They should be right there. And, well, they're not. You know, and I said, well, then, you know, try, look for the, the St. Philip, St. James readings, because that was, those were the readings he was going to use today for the service, you know, May 1st, St. Philip, St. James reading. And he can't find it. Well, well, he's never really, I don't know, maybe he's not really explored that book the way I have, but. Uh, Where's the bookmark? Well, see, that, well, we'll, we'll get to the bookmarker. So well, we'll well, get so. to the bookmarker issue in a moment, as we discussed earlier, Paul, and, uh, so, um, so eventually Charles walks over with his printout and gives it to him and he read, reads I, the Isaiah passage and uh, okay, fine. So then he goes back to his seat and he keeps, he keeps that printout. <laughs> he keeps that printout. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to have to do some, <laughs> some fancy footwork on this one. Also, when it came time for me to do the Corinthians reading, because the psalm was done sort of in unison, you know, and Charles led that, and uh, and uh, he he actually beckons me over to pick up, you know, I guess he had a second copy of the reading secreted away in his pray do. Well, that's a sly so and so. Well, you got to be a sly so and so, don't you, to stay in power anymore, don't you? Got to have those rear view mirrors on your bicycling glasses at all times, don't you? To see who's coming up behind you with a knife. Well, anyway, so, uh, did the reading, that's fine. And then, you know, and then, so at the piece, you know, I went over to, you know, this retired judge, I said, I want a grand jury investigation on, on this. And uh, we know he laughed. Sure, we're sure to laugh. He says, I, I had the thing open, open to it as well, you know. And he had, you know. And I'd had, I'd seen the thing open to it, and the rector had opened it to it. So uh, apparently, uh, the the accepted, you know, non. Sort of conflictive story we've all agreed on is that there was a wind. A wind came in and blew the 200 pages between where the book actually was open when Henry went up to read Isaiah and the, the, the part of the book where it had the accepted readings in it for that day's service. You know, this 200-page thing, you know, interestingly enough, you know, would have had to have sort of not been blown over. It would have had to have been sucked over because it would have required turning from right to left. Now, we did have a fairly breezy day coming in through the windows and the open doors today. You know, it, were open also. Well, on the doors, I almost put the candles out, but I'm going to tell you, <laughs> there, there, wasn't was there, there, there wasn't any, any pages being blown over to the point that this is the explanation for what happened. Well, that's okay. As I said to him at the piece, church has been committed. We've committed church. So... So there, it all it all works. <laughs> yeah, it all, yeah. Church has been committed. It all works out. So, uh, as as Philippians four six says or four eight, you know, be careful for nothing. You know, in the authorized be careful for nothing. Well, actually, the the gospel, the John fourteen reading today, basically says, you know, don't don't stoop. It didn't say that. That might be one of the new paraphrases. Might say don't stew, but uh, I'm not going to bring out my documents and stuff. You know. uh, so, so, uh, 
So, you know, and then that was that worked. I mean, so that was that. And uh, we had this service on these 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 two older people. And, um, you know, and, um, as I as I pointed out in the in the Bible group today, I said, when when people who are in their 80s and 90s die, notice I said die, not pass. Um, it's like a library's been burned down. You know, I mean, it's the library's been burned down, and and uh, all that all that knowledge goes with them until unless they you know recorded it or told it to somebody else or written a book or whatever. So I guess in a way. Uh, that's a bit of a motivation for why I do some of the stuff I'm doing right now. Because if I were to cack off tonight, you know, and given my genetic background, you know, I've got a one-fourth chance of doing so. Um, you know, eight, eight great-grandparents and six of them lived into their 90s and two of them died, you know, extremely young, not to mention my grandfather and my dad dying extremely young. So... Uh, I guess I'm trying to build up a little legacy here so that, you know, if my grandson wants to know how things are, he can listen to me. You know, of course, I assume he'll listen to other people, too, to figure out how things are. I mean, it's a data point, isn't it? It's a data point. I think it's a pretty good data point, but, you know, he's got to make that decision. All righty, now, I'm going to... Uh, soldier down here and uh, say bye-bye YouTubers. All right. Bye-bye.